Vince McMahon was back in charge at last night's WWE Raw after Mania. Matt Riddle also returned. Charlotte Flair is reportedly taking some time off. And Jay White is reportedly not expected to sign with WWE. Well, everyone, we have so much news to get into. We're going to kick things off with Vince McMahon and the latest regarding him being back in charge at last night's Raw After Mania. Take a look. Vince McMahon was fully in charge of Raw last night. Dave Meltzer confirmed a PW Insider report from Monday night saying that Vince McMahon was in charge of much of Raw. Meltzer said, quote, he was running TV tonight. He's back. It's what it was, it will be what it was before, and if people think that was bad, it will be bad, and that's just the way it is. Meltzer said the show was changed when McMahon arrived and also while the show was going on, saying, quote, Levesque will be head of creative and will be doing the busy work and all that stuff. Vince is going to have the final say in everything. The PW Insider report said that Triple H initially was the person in the headset during Raw, but as time went on, McMahon became more of the point person in charge of running that show. PW Insider also said there was a huge negative shift in morale as talent realized that things were exactly where they were before prior to Triple H being named Chief Content Officer in July of last year, when McMahon initially resigned from the company. In an interview with CNBC on Sunday, McMahon said that he will remain involved in WWE creative at a higher level, but not in the weeds, as he had been in the past. Fightful Select also reported that this Friday's WWE SmackDown will be a huge negative sign to talent and staff if Vince McMahon travels to Portland for the show, whether he's in guerrilla position or not. Adding that there are important people in the company who had no idea he was planning to make changes Monday and don't know his plans for Friday. Fightful Select also wrote that they heard from at least two talents, including one near the top of the card that said they'll likely request their release if this is a trend moving forward. And another said they'll just write out their deal. Fightful also stated that there are multiple wrestlers who are already exploring what their options would be in the event Vince McMahon were to be steadily involved. On the day Endeavor announced its impending acquisition of a controlling stake in WWE, Triple H assured fans that, quote, the WWE you love is going nowhere. Triple H opened up Raw after Mania last night with a promo thanking the company's performers, staff, and fans, and assured those fans that the company would continue to deliver the product that the fans love. And on the same show, we saw the return of Matt Riddle. Riddle returned on Monday Night's Raw confronting The Miz. Miz had been complaining that he had to face surprise after surprise during WrestleMania weekend. Miz immediately attacked Riddle, but Riddle made a comeback and laid out Miz to end the segment. Later, it was announced that Riddle will return to action on next week's show against The Miz. That Riddle had been suspended for 60 days after violating WWE's wellness policy and had been sent to rehab. At that time, it was reported that if Riddle refused to enter rehab, he would be released from WWE. And it looks like the former WWE SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair is reportedly going to be taking some time off. PW Insider reported the news on Tuesday, saying she informed the company about it this past WrestleMania 39 weekend. It's unknown what the reason is or how much time she will be off for, but the break is possibly related to her desire to take part in a bodybuilding competition this summer, something she mentioned being interested in during media appearances leading up to this past weekend. Additionally, it does not appear that former New Japan Pro Wrestling star and former IWGP World Champion Jay White is headed to WWE. According to PW Insider, there was absolutely no discussion regarding White during the past WrestleMania 39 weekend in LA. And based on multiple conversations with WWE officials and talent, they were told it does not appear that Jay White is WWE bound. In January, it was reported that 
that White was expected to hit free agency when his New Japan Pro Wrestling contract expired. At one point, both WWE and AEW were reportedly interested in signing the 30-year-old Switchblade, who left New Japan Pro Wrestling as their fifth Triple Crown Champion and first Grand Slam Champion. Before we close out this video, both Dwayne The Rock Johnson and John Cena have announced their own respective new projects. Take a look. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is set to reprise one of his most popular film roles, this time in live-action form. He announced yesterday that a live-action retelling of Moana is in the works at Disney. The original animated version of the film was released in 2016 with Johnson voicing the character of Maui. Johnson will now physically be playing Maui, who was inspired by his grandfather, Peter Maivia. And John Cena will be playing a role in one of this summer's most anticipated movies. It was confirmed today that John Cena will have a role in the upcoming Barbie movie. Though Cena doesn't appear in the new trailer, his name is listed among the cast. And that's a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and share your thoughts on any or all of these stories in the comment section below. And as always, I will be back with some more of the latest. Catch you on the next vid, everyone. Before you go, make sure to check out our previous video regarding Endeavor acquiring WWE.